Skitters. Skitters. I just picked up something right here. It's the, uh, it's a new amp. I blew my Kenwood 1200 watts RMS. Or 600 watts RMS, sorry. 600 watts RMS, I blew that. So right now I'm on a five channel kicker ramp that comes with a subwoofer input, but four other inputs for your door speaker, six by nines and six by threes and stuff like that. So I went to Best Buy, got this today, treated myself, got this for $34.99 plus the extra like 40 bucks for a four year protection. So I spent like almost 400 bucks for this kicker CX 1200.1. It's 1200 watts RMS at two ohms and 2400 watts max power. At four ohms it's running 600 watts RMS. And just wanted to do unboxing with you guys, so let's get into it. It's a mono block also. So let's see. Right here. 1,293 watts RMS. I'm guessing at 2 ohms. Certification. It says total harmonic distortion distortion test passed. Signal to noise ratio test passed. Protection circuit test passed. Sorry guys, I'm reading upside down here. So there's that. That's pretty cool. And then, here are these, let's see, these are the mounts, I believe, to mount it standing up, if you would like. Yeah, these are the mounts to mount it standing up. So there are those, I'm put those to the side. And let's get this out here. By the looks of it, this looks, uh, it's pretty sturdy, but, like, really sturdy. Feels heavy. My other kicker amp, it's just, it's not pushing my subs for me. I blew it into protective mode. I can't get it out now, so it's just time to get a new amp. That looks good. All the frequencies and everything. Input level high and low, left and right, even has a protect, uh, protect uh, light, so if your amp goes into protection mode. The other side here, channels, power ground in the remote, and then to the bottom, looks pretty good, item number, all that, nice kicker engraved in there. Feels pretty sturdy, can't complain yet. You know, I'm running two 12 inch Kenwoods. They're 400 watts RMS. So I have them wired to four ohms right now because my other amps couldn't take it to two ohms. So now that I got this, I'm thinking about it, but I'm I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know, I don't want to risk blowing them right now. Uh, yeah, and this is telling you um, how to install the side mounts. So in case you wanna mount it like this right here, standing up. Um, let's see, I thought it, hmm. I thought it came with a, a knob for base, for the base boost. I guess not. I don't see any of that in here. But here's the manual. Looks pretty good with pictures and stuff. Um, there's the base boost knob. I'm telling you how to hook everything up. Looks pretty good. Uh, has it in English, Spanish, Dutch. And what is that? Um, I have no idea what that is, guys. Uh, Tell me what that language is, please. <laughs> and it comes with the screws. I'm guessing to mount these um, side brackets in. And then an Allen wrench to fit it. 
so yeah everything looks good guys it's good sturdy um yeah let's see here gain frequency base boost remote base input level everything looks good guys um and i just want to say something else um the reason i haven't been making a lot of videos lately is because i've had a lot of school or not not school sorry about that a lot of work I've, i have two jobs i had three at one point you know it's just been work 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 all summer just been crazy just trying to save up um i i want to get uh some sundown so that's what i'm trying to save up for some sundown x12s um but you know those are like almost a thousand bucks for two so i don't know about that um um so yeah that's all i've been up to um then i'm gonna have school starting so i don't know what i'm gonna do with that i'm still gonna try to make videos for you guys but yeah and then i'll also give you guys a run through of my system right now what i'm running um six by nines and six by threes and what my subs look like and how it's wired and all that and what i had but what amp i had before but yeah guys this was just a quick unboxing let you guys know and see you later